Hi, welcome to Data Center Infrastructure Management, Part 2. My name is Dave Cole. I'll be the instructor, and I was the originator of this course. We're going to be following up on some of the topics we covered in Data Center Infrastructure Management, Part 1. So we'll look at data center floor plans. We'll look at energy efficiency. We're going to look at some of the management tools that are out there in the uh, data center. We'll look at ITIL. We'll look at IT service management. So we'll cover a lot of topics, uh, leaning a little bit more towards the management side in this module. A couple things to get out of the way first. IT infrastructure library and ITIL are registered trademarks of the cabinet office in the United Kingdom and other countries. This is the second part of a two-part course, and we're going to be covering more of the fundamentals of data center infrastructure management. We're going to look at energy efficiency, floor plans, data center management tools, and IT service management. Throughout, hopefully, I'll give you some real-world examples to kind of cover some of the key points and topics that we're talking about. It's important to bring some real world into this so you understand that, that these are things that are really being done out in data centers. So let's look at the course objectives. We're going to describe what impacts energy efficiency and how you can improve it. Energy efficiency is a big topic in data centers these days. Data centers are very, very expensive to run and we want to look at ways that we can improve our energy efficiency. We'll also look at some of the metrics we can use to measure energy efficiency in the data center. Uh, we'll look at ways we can improve the energy efficiency and bottom line, save money in the data center, reduce our electric bills. We're going to discuss management tools and we'll discuss some of the issues related to data center management. Uh, there are a lot of tools out there that can help us improve our performance and availability and we'll look at some of those and we'll look at some specific tools as well and hopefully give you some ways to some questions that you can ask uh, data center management vendors when you're going out and evaluating their products. And then we're going to look at some practical steps to implement ITIL. IT infrastructure library is a big topic. There are lots of books related to ITIL. We're going to discuss one in particular that really gives some good practical steps for starting and implementing ITIL. And then we're going to measure the IT service management metrics that really matter. So we're going to look at IT service management, describe what that is, and then look at some of the metrics that might help us to manage our data center better. We're going to monitor our data center to optimize performance and availability, some of the tools we can use to do that. And finally, we're going to see what impacts the data center availability and how we can improve that. Course prerequisites. Hopefully at this point you've taken Data Center Infrastructure Management Part 1. This is a follow-on course to that, so we're going to build on some of the topics that we talked about in Part 1. So here are the topics we're going to cover in this module. We're going to look at the fundamentals of availability, data center preventive maintenance, data center energy efficiency, data center efficiency metrics. So we can't improve our energy efficiency without looking at some of the metrics that measure how well we're doing on the energy efficiency side of things. And we'll look at some of the best practices, ways, practical ways we can go and, and save money in the data center. We're going to look at data center floor plan design. We'll cover this in a couple of different modules, really looking at things like equipment placement and how where we place the equipment has a big impact on how well our data center operates and how much money we spend. So we'll look at some of the concepts uh, behind data center floor planning. We'll look at an introduction to ITIL, so IT infrastructure library. And we're going to look at some practical steps to implement ITIL. And then we'll spend a, a pretty good portion of time on data center management. So we're going to look at uh, pretty many aspects of data center management. We'll look at asset management in the data center, keeping track of servers and storage and our facilities equipment. We'll look at real-time monitoring, being able to capture those metrics that are going to allow us to uh, do capacity planning, and let us know when we need to buy more equipment, uh, make sure that our equipment, equipment is operating as designed. And we'll look at some of the data center management tools that are going to help us in data center management. And then we'll close up with measuring ITSM in the data center, measuring IT service management in the data center. So going beyond measuring uh, network speeds and, and power at the rack level, things like that, really measuring how well are we performing as, as people in the data center. 
Throughout the course, there'll be quizzes and links for additional reference documents. You can download these from the download section on the course page. Throughout the course, if there are any questions, please use the question comment box. That will send an email directly to me, and I'll get responses right back to you. So, having gotten all the preliminaries out of the way, let's get started.